Hi there, and welcome back to Jid Photo. Here we today we're going to have a, a very quick tutorial on how to turn a standard colour image into a black and white image, and a black and white image that you can print without getting any uh, curious colour hues or casting. So here we go. Very simple process. Here we have an image. Um, fairly old aircraft, perhaps it might look better in black and white. Uh, so how would we accomplish that? Well, very simple. Get, uh, Go down to your layers palette in Photoshop, select this uh, circular icon with uh, black and white markings on it, and select gradient map this will produce a an adjustment layer for you and as soon as you click it you have your adjustment layer now that's uh, not exactly what we want but we're halfway there up here in your adjustments palette you can see that we have our gradient map and uh, this at the moment is set from red to white we don't want that we actually want it to be black and white so put your cursor inside the uh, the gradient and click and that brings you up the gradient editor palette there is a, uh, there are a whole set of presets here and there is one specifically that we need to use and it's the third one long black and white so we'll select that and if you look at the image now we actually have a true black and white image. There are further adjustments we can do within here if you like to add a bit more contrast really pump up the blacks and and or increase the whites you can either you can grab the the black slider and pull that along that's really increased the blacks and you could do exactly the same with the white pull that along and you've really added a lot of contrast to the image you can also grab the midpoint uh, slider pull that along to uh, push the, uh, the actual tonal curve that you're creating and go back the other way I'll leave it about 46% press OK press tab to look at it full screen and that is a very simple black and white conversion and again it is an adjustment layer so you can switch it on you can switch it off you can totally remove it if you don't like it that is how you produce a black and white image from a color image your color image is still there it's still available you can change and manipulate any of the color channels underneath of it so you've got the flexibility of a colour image with a simple layer mask on or a simple adjustment layer uh, on top uh, to control your black and white conversion and it's as easy as that thanks for visiting Jude Photo Tutorials and I hope to get back uh, with you again soon